It has been a busy day as road crews get out there. Homeowners work to clear their sidewalks and driveways before the dangerously cold temperatures move in tonight. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us here at 530. I'm Randy Meyer. And I'm Amy Hockert. Ever since that snow started falling early this morning, plow drivers across the state have been working pretty much nonstop to get the snow off the streets before it freezes. Fox 9's Rob Olson joining us now. Rob, a short window to clear the snow, and apparently you have some tips for us tonight before the slop and slush turns to stone. Yeah, work fast. That's one of them. You know, normally this would just basically be a nuisance snow, but it's that one-two punch of a few inches of snow followed by the deep freeze that we stay in for a while, which means if you don't tackle this stuff right away, uh, it's going to be trouble. The weather dictates what we do, and we try to time it as best we can. And uh, that's, that's all we can do. When Mark Huskey started work well before sunrise, he knew they'd be under the gun to attack the snow. We don't have that tomorrow, so it's got to be done today. By the time it gets into the single digits and close to zero, there's not much hope after that. As operations manager at Richfield Public Works, he says normally they'd get a couple of days to clean up, but with temps rapidly dropping tonight and staying that way for a week or more, whatever's still on the roads will become bulletproof. And the same holds true for your driveway. It's going to harden, and it's going to it's going to turn into a layer of concrete ice. His advice to you is to do what they do: clean all the snow that you can before tonight, then spread ice melt, and then drive on it. If you salt your driveway and then drive your car over it, it helps work it down to the pavement, and you'll you'll see results. It's the same principle that gets the main roads cleared fairly quickly, much more than side streets, in that the traffic. Finishes the job. But if you drive your car over it, that helps push it down and it works into your tires a little bit. It spreads it out even more. It works. It helps. Because if you wait until tomorrow, good luck. There's no de icing after that. It's, it's going to be here to stick. No, there's no de icing after that. We're uh, at uh, Bobby and Steve's Auto World in Eden Prairie. Gary DeRusha here. Uh, some tips uh, for not just driving uh, on the roads, but actually driving. What do you need to remember tonight to make sure your car starts tomorrow? Well, if I were to say the top three things, number one, make sure you have a fully charged battery. You can stop by any Bobby and Steve's. We'll check your battery for free. Make sure all your washer fluid, brake fluid, power steering fluid, brake, uh, check your oil levels. Make sure your fluids are good. Make sure you have no less than a half a tank of gas would be appropriate. Yeah. And most importantly, put an additive into your gas tank. Gas has water in it. When it's going to get this cold, that moisture and that water is going to freeze up yep. and it's going to cause some problems. This is the kind of cold that reveals any problem in your car very quickly. With a turn of a key. Uh -huh. <laughs>